Hello friends, welcome to Unreal Blueprints video tutorials series. From the past few video tutorials, we are trying to understand flow control nodes in Unreal Blueprints. We know that flow control nodes help us to get control over flow of execution. In the previous videos, we understood sequence node and the branch node. In this video, I would like to discuss gate node in Unreal Blueprint. Gate node allows us to control the flow of execution based on the gate is currently in open state or in closed state. If gate is in open state, then control flows through exit pin. Otherwise, it waits at the entrance of the gate. If gate is in open state, then control flows through exit pin. Otherwise, it waits at the entrance of the gate guys. Here, enter pin indicates entrance of the gate where control is halted until the gate opens. Open pin sets the gate to an open state. It allows control to flow through exit pin. Close pin sets the gate to close state. It prevents the control to flow through exit pin. Toggle pin toggles the state of the gate between open and closed. Start closed indicates initially whether the gate is in open state or in closed state. Exit pin. If gate is in open state, anything connected to exit pin is executed guys. If gate is in open state, anything connected to exit pin is executed. Let's have a demo and understand. I am in game level, level blueprint. We know that event tick is triggered every frame. Here I am going to take help of the delay node. And I say here 1. After every 1 second, control flows through delay node. Here I take gate and I make the control to wait at the entrance until the gate gets open. You can see initially gate is closed. If I say here print string and I say here gate is open. As gate is in a closed state, the control do not flow through the exit pin. So print string will not get executed. If I say compile save, come to game level and play. You see nothing is happening. Okay. Now let me open the gate. Here, when I press the O key, when I press the O key, the gate should get open. When gate is open, of course control flows through exit pin. After every one second, control flows through exit pin and execute the print string. So after every one second, we see gate is open, gate is open, gate is open, displayed. Compile, save, come to game level and play. Now. If I press the O key, you can see that gate is open, gate is open, gate is open, gate is open. Right? I press the escape key to come out of the play mode. Now, gate should get closed when I press the C key. When I press the C key, the gate should get closed. Now, we can decide when the control should flow, when the control should wait. When we press the O key, gate opens, control flows. We see gate is open, gate is open, gate is open. When we press the C key, gate gets closed. So we don't see gate is open displayed. Compile, save, come to game level and play. Now if I press the O key, you can see gate is open, gate is open, gate is open, gate is open. If I press the C key, the gate is closed. Right? Gate is closed. If I press the O key, gate is open, gate is open, gate is open. I press the C key, you see gate is closed. I press the O key. Gate is open, gate is open, gate is open. So like that, the gate node works guys. I hope you guys have clearly understood how the gate node works. Now, let's have a real-time example. We are going to understand how the gate node is used in the game. Okay, how the gate node is used in the game. I am going to create a danger zone guys. I am going to create a danger zone. When the player enters the danger zone, player health reduces slowly. Okay, if player comes outside the danger zone, health is going to stop reducing guys. Okay, let's implement that. I right click here, create a new folder. I call this blueprints. I hit enter. In the blueprints folder, I create a blueprint class of type actor. I call this bp underscore danger zone. I hit enter. I double click to open it. You can see bp underscore danger zone is open. 
here I am going to add a sphere. Okay. I am going to scale this sphere by 5 times. 5, 5, 5. Okay. I scaled it 5 times and I also changed the collision presets to overlap all dynamic so that player can enter this danger zone. Right. Overlap all dynamic. Our player is a dynamic actor. If I say compile, save, come to game level, I am going to put that here. If I click on the play button, of course, player can enter into this danger zone and exit from the danger zone. To make it look like a danger zone, I am going to apply a material, a transparent material, red color material. So I right click here, create a new folder called as materials. In the materials folder, I create a new material. I call this as m underscore d-a-n-g-e-r danger zone i double click to open it you can see danger zone material is open i'm going to change the blend mode to translucent and i set the base color using constant 3 vector node i set the base color to red i set the base color to red and opacity i say here constant opacity i set 0.5 you can see we got semi transparent material save it i go to bp underscore danger zone i have selected the sphere and i change the material to m underscore danger zone compile and save you should see danger zone created here when the player enters inside player health should get reduced slowly if player comes outside player health should stop reducing that's what we want to implement. So, where do we implement that? We go to third person folder. In the blueprints folder, we have our player BP underscore third person character. I double click to open it. Inside this, I am going to create one variable called as health and of type integer. And I compile initially, it is going to be 100, guys. Initially, it is going to be 100. Now, here, what I do? Of course, I am going to take here event tick node. We can also use the timer, guys. Okay, if we want, we can use the timer. Here, I am taking help of the event tick node. As usual, I use the delay. After every one second, the control should flow through the delay. And here, we are going to use the gate node. So, control waits at the entrance. And on exit, what should happen? Of course, health should get reduced so get the health and subtract subtract by one slowly we want to reduce the health subtract by one and i'm going to say here set health back okay set health back here so initially it is 100 initially it is 100 it becomes uh, 99 98 like that you can display so i right click here and say print string print string connect this and then I am going to use append string node and here I say H E A L T H health colon we want to display this health okay current health return value I connect here now of course initially you see that gate is in a closed set if I say compile save I put this here and if I go and play output log and if I go here nothing happens we don't see health reducing or uh, right you can see that now we have to open the gate when the gate should open when the player overlaps with the danger zone right to handle the collisions we have capsule component to that i right click here add event for capsule component collision add on component begin overlap when the player begins overlap with the other actor which should be bp underscore danger zone if player overlaps with the danger zone then the gate should get open then the gate should get open and when gate gets open health slowly reduces after every one second the health reduces right because we are telling the control should flow after every one second through the exit pin so health reduces and we are displaying the health also now when the health should stop reducing when player exits from the danger zone so for that again i say capsule component right click add event for capsule component collision on component end overlap 
if player ends overlapping with the other actor which is bp underscore danger zone right if player comes outside the danger zone then the gate should get closed so that it stops reducing the health guys so that is the blueprint for danger zone implementation guys okay let's compile and save go to game level and test now if i go here and stand inside the danger zone you see health is reducing health 99 98 97 96 95 if i come outside the health stops reducing health is now 94 if i go inside again health reduces 93 92 91 if i come outside health stops reducing right so that is how you can create a danger zone in the game with the help of gate node guys i hope you guys have clearly understood how the gate node is used in the game okay how the gate node is used in the game for this video tutorial this much is enough guys i strongly suggest you people to try it yourself okay try it yourself experiment okay experiment with more examples in the upcoming video tutorials we discuss more about flow control nodes in unreal blueprints if you like this video hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited for more benefits and be up to date do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel keep learning keep designing keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial